Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining me. Welcome to another episode of Junkyard Box. And we have ourselves an outdoor arena review today on the LT Wright Jessmuck knife. Now, I'm sure most of you are familiar with this blade and its origins. For those few viewers of mine who are not used to this or have never seen this blade before, uh, let me just give you the quick rundown. Now, this knife was designed by Chris Tanner from Prepared Mind 101, that's his YouTube channel. And it was crafted by LT Wright, knife maker. Now, it is an odd design. I will say that. Everyone can say that. It is a little bit off from being a bushcraft knife, the, the traditional design. Uh, so it's a little weird looking. But I don't mind weird if it works at what it does. And I love weird if it excels at its purpose. So today, we're going to go ahead and get this bad boy testing. And uh, thank you for joining me. Okay, so for some quick stats for this knife. Now the overall length of the blade is nine and a half inches. The cutting edge is four and a half inches. It is full tang, of course. 01 tool steel, flat 90 degree spine with a scandy grind that has a continuous curved belly. The, handle, the handles are made out of black micarta scales and it is made in Ohio in the USA. Now it comes with a standard JRE Industries leather sheath as most LT Wright knives do. And the sheath comes with a removable dangler attachment as well as a fire steel loop if you want to add your fire steel onto there. It is a great sheath. Just wish that they would add a small hole down here, but just a, a drain hole for water in case this was to get wet. Of course, as I said before, water would be bad for the leather as well as for the steel. So that's the only thing I would ask for them. Other than that, this is an excellent combination right here. and fits great. Okay, so time to commence testing. Now with all fixed blade bushcraft knives, I'm gonna test it by making a one stick fire. Now this is a cottonwood log. If your blade cannot do that, it has no business uh, being out in the wilderness. So this being an LT right, I have no problems. I have no question that this is gonna excel at that. But just for the sake of testing, we're gonna get a fire going. And after that, we're gonna get dinner going. Now we have ourselves a rabbit here that we're gonna test the blade's skinning abilities and just go ahead and cut it up, quarter it up, and we're gonna get to eating. So, stick around, let's go ahead and get started. There we go. Sorry, we're just at an angle here and I was trying not to bust my fingers on this rock. But outside of that, we got this going. Now, of course, all LT right knives have an excellent 90 degree spine. That's a given. But now let's go ahead and test its game skinning abilities. So here we have ourselves a cottontail rabbit that we're going to process down so we can get to cooking it as well as a prickly pear cactus. Now I just picked this off of a pile off over there on the hill and we're going to use the blade to go ahead and process and remove all these spines so we can cook this as well. Get ourselves a nice little desert meal going. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so let us begin. So let's go ahead and just cut a slit off the back of the rabbit. Now one thing I've noticed is because of its more stubby tip, 
it isn't as good as uh, other blades for piercing hides. Now, it's not necessarily designed for that, so I'm not going to dock it points for that, but just something worth noting. Okay, so let's cut through. Now, it definitely slices excellent. Look at that. And don't worry about that. That's a bruise uh, when I killed the rabbit. Of course, I don't... I try not to record those things. I just find it a little disrespectful for the animal. But uh, this animal was just killed about 20 minutes ago. And as you can tell, check out the cuts on the knife. This knife excels. It's extremely sharp. That O1 tool steel takes a very sharp edge. Now, just so we're all on the same page, guys, so, you know, just for the sake of honesty, this rabbit was not wild. I bought this from a farm, and then I just butchered when we got here. Reason for that is because even though I prefer trapping and hunting for when it comes to processing game, we only have one day with this blade before we got to go ahead and send it out to its original owner. And uh, hunting and trapping, that can take days. So because of that, I just bought a rabbit out of farm because of our short time. So, just, to, just for the sake of honesty. But, um, hey, support your local businesses. Look at that. To make sure that the bone is off. As you can tell, the bone's over here. Once again, that's just a bruise of when I hit it earlier, the killing blow. And for those of you questioning, like I said earlier, this is a farm animal. So this animal was healthy. I didn't fear it having any diseases. Um, I just, once I get inside, I'm going to check if there's any worms or any white spots. Other than that, though, it's a perfectly healthy animal. see any signs of anything that I should be worried about. And like I said, this is a healthy animal. This animal... The animal has been quartered. The knife did exceptional. As you can tell, it is still razor sharp. Really good stuff. And now we're gonna get to cook in our rabbit. So we're gonna give them a quick rinse and then put place them on the fire.
Well, our dinner is just about ready. Oh, yeah. Rabbit is ready. The cactus does need a little bit more time. Okay, so this is about the conclusion, guys. Now, what did I think of the Altirite Jessmec? Well, I'm sure you guys saw it coming a mile away. I love this thing. I love all Altirite knives that I've tested so far. And this one is just so unique. Um, that belly is really cool. The handle is my favorite. I mean, I not only is it comfortable, but I actively want to hold this thing. The last two weeks that I've had this knife, I have, you know, when I'm at work or when I'm at home, I got it out of the sheath just to hold it, just because it feels that good that I just like to just, you know, feel it. Now, we tested this blade. We tested the, the bushcraft abilities. You know, can it make a one stick fire? Can it make feather sticks? It worked excellent. Now that was no surprise. Now we tried the rabbit. We went ahead and processed the rabbit. We game processed with it. That belly worked excellent. As you saw while I was just skinning the animal, it worked perfectly for that. And then we got a cactus pad and the, we once again used the 90 degree spine to go ahead and scrape off the glochids and thorns, the spines of it, to go ahead and just process for food. And it excelled at all tasks. It is an excellent knife. Um, one thing probably that I that I gotta say is um, it wasn't as smooth when I was piercing the game. The tip is a little bit more stubby than say my LT right GNS that's that has more of a dagger light point. So this would have been easier to pre pierce the rabbit. Other than that though, it, it got the job done. It wasn't anything bad. So I love this knife. It now returns to its rightful owner, Mr. Chris Tanner. Chris, thank you very much to, for sending this through the arena, allowing us guys to go ahead and test it out. And we're going to enjoy our dinner now. So I hope you liked this video. Go ahead and thumbs up the video if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet to keep up with my adventures. And I'll see you guys next week with another video. Now go outside and get your boots dirty. Mm -hmm.